Hello, good afternoon, everybody. I am just popping up to say hello to you. And thank you, you guys have given me such an amazing reception to my new website that I just rolled out and to the giveaway that I'm doing. So I really appreciate your support and your encouragement. It means so much to me. And I thought I'd come on and give you a personalized tour of my new gallery website. So here we go. Um, this is what you see when you go to lauramckenziegallery.com. Um, at the top, you'll see any announcements that I will have. Right now, for a few more days, I am still running my uh, giveaway of the framed print. So that is here. You would go here for details on that. Once you look down, you see my logo, the navigation bar here, um, some of the art you can buy here. Scrolling down to my footer, you have all kinds of contact information for me, as well as social media. And you have my badges showing that I am officially registered as a trusted art seller and that this site is encrypted. So it's secure and it's a safe place to come and make purchases. Under shop art, you can buy fine art prints for original paintings. Here we have a gift shop with all kinds of fun stuff because I don't know about you, but my favorite place to go in a museum, well, one of my favorite places is always the gift shop. That's my favorite. Here we have about the artist and that shows you a picture of me and some information about me. If you want my full fancy professional bio, you can go here. And I wanna sort of point out here that I do, I am part of the Registered with Stripe Climate, which is an innovative program. So 1% of all my revenue goes to their program that helps to remove carbon dioxide from our atmosphere, which is really important to me. So let's get back in. There are some features I wanna make sure that you don't miss while you're shopping my website. Let's take a quick peek at original paintings. I have more that will be coming soon. Um, but right now, I just have one on here that is still available. So this is what it would look like when you go to take a look at an original painting. So we have the image here, which would be the front of, in this case, the canvas. And then there are thumbnails below. So you can see more of what it would look like actually hanging on a wall. And going to speak about the wall, this is one of the features that I want to make sure you know about so you can play with it and take full advantage. This is the wall preview. What is so cool about this um, is that you can come on here and play around and, and get an idea of the size and what things would look like on your wall. So let's say you have blue walls and you wanna see, you can change your wall color here, top left. This is an original, so you can't change the size of that. It is what it is. But you can see, oh, what would this look like above a sofa? What would the size be? Or in an office? Or what would it look like in a bedroom compared to a bed? You can get an idea of the size and the way it would look. There's a nursery here, a conference room, a sitting area, a cafe, a reception or lobby area, and also a restaurant. So you can go through and take a look at all of those. When you're done with that, you can just X out of it over here to go back. So that's one of my favorite previews is the wall preview. There's also a live preview AR. This would, I'm not gonna show you this today, but take a look at my site on your mobile device, your tablet or your phone, and that is so much fun. You hit that and then you just hold your phone up to your wall. And if it's a print, you can change the size of it and it will superimpose um, a picture of the print onto your wall. And it's really fun to see what it would look like in your actual office space or home or wherever you happen to have it. So let's look at prints. There are some features here I want to make sure you know about. Let's just pick Splash, which has been one of your favorites. Thank you. So for prints, you're gonna have four choices. Smooth fine art paper, and that will tell you more about that canvas, a metal print, and a wall mural, which is repositionable. These are the sticky ones that will actually just, you put them up and you stick them to the wall. So those are fun and you can move them around. I know we move a lot, so we have used a lot of repositionable wallpaper and images and things like that in various homes, and these are a lot of fun. The metal prints, these are neat. These are something you would not frame. These are, let's just take a look here. 
the metal prints are printed right onto a, a aluminum. Let's see. It's going to give you here, if you toggle, if you just sort of hover over the little question marks, it'll tell you more about it. So these are, are printed right on aluminum, and they're glossy. These are very modern looking. They're really cool. If you had it hanging up in, say, a restaurant or something, it's nice because you they're easier to sort of clean off. You don't have to worry about, you know, some of the, maybe in a kitchen, grease getting on it or things like that. So these are cool, and let me show you, if you go to styles for these, you can see the back is a float mount hanging system. So it comes ready to go with the hanging, and it has the little pads on it to prevent your wall scuffs and scratches. So that's a very neat option. So let's go back. Canvas is another medium. We all know what canvas is. This is going to be a gallery wrap. Let's pick a size for this. Let's say we want the 20 by 16. And this is going to be an inch and a half gallery wrap. You can make some choices here. You can do a mirror image, which is here where it shows the, um, where the edges of the gallery wrap. You wouldn't frame it in this case. This would, this would sort of mirror the, the image of the canvas so it looks like the, the painting continues on the edge. If you're not interested in that, you can choose a border color. So maybe for this one you want a gray border or black or white or whatever you want, you can change the border color here. And again, if you go down, you can do the live preview AR or the wall preview to see what it's going to look like in your house to get a better of an idea. You can also do a framed canvas, in which case you'll click here on frame and you can choose between the various styles of frames there. Okay, and this is a floater frame. Um, on that. So it sort of allows the canvas to look like it's floating, it's suspended, it's separate from the picture frame. It gives it a really nice gallery look for that. So let's go back to the last medium. This is smooth fine art paper. This is beautiful paper. I love these. Um, okay, so let's pick our size. We'll do 16 by 20 again. Actually, let's start with 10 by 8 just for fun. And then we go to styles. So we have just the just the print. That's going to have a one inch border on it, and you're getting just the print, and you would find your own frame for it in that case for hanging it up. I really love the framed print options here. So um, there's a large variety of frames. They come fully assembled with the hanging hardware included. So if you liked white, you could do white. I really like the matted options like that. I think it looks really nice. You can do white, black, silver, gold, you can do, there's another black frame option. Um, the espresso wood is really nice with some of these. And if you want a lighter look, there's the maple wood. So these are really neat. And so what I would definitely recommend before purchasing to really get an idea, use the live preview AR or definitely check out the wall preview. We have had a ton of fun playing around with this in our house. So let's say you have gray walls and you want to see, you look at over the couch and you say, oh, the 10 by 8, that is definitely not going to cut it in the living room. No, 14 by 11 is not what I want. Okay, check out the 20 by 16. It's either that or the 28 by 22 for my, you know, for your particular room. And you can see, same thing, if you want it in your office space, your conference room, your bedroom, wherever it happens to be, this will give you a good idea. You might say, oh, that's a little big. I really wanted the 2016. 20 by 16 for that space. You know, so wherever you're you're looking to place this, you can get a good idea. And of course, the AR preview will show you your exact room, and that is really a good time to play around with. So I hope that gives you a very quick idea of what you can do with the website and where you can go and some of the different things you can check out on here. You can also see too, when you look at the prints, it has this little magnifying circle, so you can get a better idea of some of the details in these prints, which is also helpful. Um, ooh, let's talk about the gift shop, because I do love that. We have phone cases, tote bags, mugs, greeting cards, coasters, throw pillows, and stickers. So if we look at the phone cases, um, let's take a look at this one here. And so you have medium is always going to be phone case in this kind. And this tells you a little bit more about the quality and what you're getting there. Let's say we go down and you have, for example, a Samsung, an older Samsung. They have so many different kinds you can see of, of phones on there. You have some different choices. You have this premium flexi case here. You, there's a snap case that comes in glossy or matte. 
and a tough case that also comes in glossy or matte. Some of the different phone styles have a few different options, so you can ju just um, you know put in your phone type and then check that out. I think those are a really cool option. Tote bags are very cool. These are printed on both sides, so it's not just this side and a plain back. It's both sides has the image of the artwork on it, and then it's lined on the inside. It has a black lining and black handles, and you can choose from 13 by 13, 16 by 16, or 18 by 18 inch size. Um, mugs are pretty straightforward. Just pick out a mug, and you can just, all you choose here is which size you want, 11 ounce or 15 ounce. I like a nice big cup of coffee in the morning, so I have the 15 ounce sizes. Greeting cards are very neat. I'll show you what I like about these. They're going to pop up originally in the vertical um, size, but if you go to options here, you can also make them horizontal. And you can get a single card, packs of 10, or pack of 25. Something neat about these is you can put whatever message you want in here. So I might just say, you know, maybe I want every card to say, thank you for checking out my new gallery. And that would be printed on the inside of my cards which is pretty cool. I do love those. And then coasters are, you know, again, straightforward. They are 3.75 inches square and they have a cork backing on them. And then, um, and then the next thing that we have here is throw pillows. Let's see, are we are not in throw pillows, hang on. Okay, so we're gonna go to throw pillows. And we're going to pick one out here. And we are going to, okay, so medium is always going to be throw pillows in here. This explains the different types. And the cover only has no insert. It's just the, the empty cover. So if you had an insert you wanted to put it on, you can also get it where it has an insert. So you can get it with a zipper. So in this case, the throw pillow includes both the pillow insert and the zipper. Or you can get it without a zipper. It's the same thing, except you can't take the pillow insert out of the case. It's just one piece. So you can do that. And your sizes for these are 14 by 14, 14 by 20, or 16 by 16. So you get to choose the size that works for you. Last but not least, we have stickers. These are fun. These can go anywhere. Your notebooks, your reusable cups, your car, whatever you feel like putting a little art on. Um, these are neat ways to do that and an affordable way to do that and have some fun. They come in a one pack, a five pack, or a ten pack. So that's your main tour of my website. I hope you'll come here and play around with some of these features and check it out. Over here in the navigation bar, we have the contact form. You can always email me, laura at lauramckenziegallery.com. If not, you can come here and you can write me a message with your email and your name, and I'll get back to you pretty quickly. I do read all of those and um, reply to all of those. So that's all I've got. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the beautiful reception you have given to Laura McKenzie Gallery so far. I'm so excited to communicate with all of you and continue working with you. So have a beautiful day. Thank you.